Welcome back to Elections 2017. Dalciana, do you think women in Papua New Guinea and the region in general, according to your observations and experiences working in other, other um, Pacific countries, do we have the opportunities and the abilities to actively participate in politics? Yes, I, I think we've, uh, since independence, we've, we've had, I guess, a, a steady flow of women being uh, educated uh, and we've, I guess, I guess the statistics are pretty clear, you know, they, they women are greatly disadvantaged um, with, with the added, uh, you know, uh, disasters of, of violence and certain other sort of social um, uh, complications. Uh, we, we're, women, I, I, I see that women are really entirely disadvantaged, you know, again, even before we get to uh, the start of the race, you know, I mean, I so regularly, it's assumed so regularly as, as I was progressing to where, where I am now, that, you know, just the way that, you know, I've headed up a, a think tank in, in Vanuatu and um, as a deputy executive director, where I designed strategies around, um, you know, it was a think tank. So we talked about policies and, and designed community strategies. But there's, there, there's also an inhibiting factor, I guess, in relation to society's yeah. um, expectations about the roles that we can and can't play. Yeah. Um, and and that's, um, that can be very uh, insightful in that I see a lot of women very aggressive about political leadership or community leadership. And that isn't a genetic defect. Mm -hmm. It's actually a, a, a symptom of society's, the pressures on women in society. And I think that, uh, you know, even further disadvantaged, you know, the, the, the minute uh, a woman expresses her view and if she raises her tone slightly, mm -hmm. you know, all of a sudden, you know, th there's something terribly wrong with her. Um, or, you know, merasa totoktumaso. You know, and, and that sort of an attitude that, that really is, is casts this blanket of, of, you know, an opinion in, in society that, that means that, oh, well, this, this stack is completely incompetent. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, yeah, it's a hard one to express, I guess, in a nutshell. What could be other challenges apart from this, given that women have broken ground in all other male uh, dominated fields except politics. What, what, what are some of the major challenges apart from what we've discussed so far? Yeah, I'm. I'm only. I'm probably not the right person to speak to because I'm. I'm. I'm experiencing. I'm learning things every day about this space. You know, I was very privileged to be asked to um, be the chief advisor um, to a political party, uh, which that that sits in um, that sits in opposition. Um, I, I have uh, tertiary qualifications and, and you know, I'm, I'm qualified to, to occupy this space. Sometimes that's not enough, you know. I'm being assessed on the legacy of my father and my brother, which, you know, I could either take great offence to and, and walk away from this space or actually just continue, which is, which is why, you know, I, education and, and tertiary qualifications were so important in the first place. I'm, I'm kind of talking around this issue because I, I, I see that lots of women are, are, are so disadvantaged. They're either coming from low income families, they're coming from middle income families. Already, the disadvantages are absolutely remarkable. You know, the education system, when we, when we consider that, you know, we've got 80 kids in a classroom and one teacher and so many things that challenge our ability to progress are already there for many women. And, and, and then there's an attitudinal and a societal, um, you know, inhibitors. I, I think, again, in this party space, and, and maybe the next few questions will, will draw on, on how women are going to enter this race. It, I, I'm, I'm, I can only speak for myself and I can see the difficulties that women are facing. And I hope that by occupying this space, and I hope that we will have some influence as we move forward, as we go into these elections and an election outcome will be produced. But I think the importance of political will in all of this, high level uh, agenda that prioritises 
the progress and development of women. My father did it as Prime Minister. He brought in the Office of Development of Women um, under, into the Prime, under the Prime Minister's uh, umbrella. Um, or umbrella of, you know, of portfolios. And I think political will is, I think Dame Carroll spoke earlier, of the resistance um, to, to actually support certain agendas that, will, that essentially promote equality. So, you know, it, it does have to be high level political will because... Uh, it does, yeah. uh, thank you very much for your time. You. We'd like to um, wish you luck in your endeavours. And we will be more, back with more in elections 2017 after this break.